a new solar charge controller MPPT that I picked up on Amazon. It's 10 amp. Um, the reason I'm doing a video of it is because I couldn't find any information on it anywhere on YouTube. So if somebody else is uh, looking for info on this particular one, uh, just do a quick video. This one is called GM D10. This one was supplied by this uh, Sola MR. On Amazon.com they have the same one but a different uh, different vendor. So I take it this is generic one factory manufactured and uh, vendors are uh, just putting their own logos on it. Now the reviews on Amazon it was getting a very high 4.7 near 5 star but every one of them was um, was issued with the free product for review so I don't know what you could make of that. Now I need uh, another solar charge controller like a hole in the head so this isn't for me it's for the brother he has a fishing boat an open deck fishing boat with timber flooring and uh, when it rains it's like a big bat and uh, several years ago I set up a automatic bilge pump just uh, self-contained uh, with a 20 watt solar panel 100 uh, ampere hour battery and this the bog standard PWM uh, you know the blue solar charge controller I think. Um, and then the pump just walking off the float about five years ago and everything was working fine until the nephew spotted recently that the boat was uh, going down a bit in the water and uh, upon inspection I thought the battery would have gone low but it was the pump was blowing the fuse so we've ordered a new pump. It wasn't a problem when the brother was fishing all the time so every day nearly he'd be down the boat and he would just hand pump the bilges but then when he retired uh, I fitted uh, a little self-contained unit. So uh, with the purchase of a new pump I decided that uh, we'd put in a, a new uh, solar charge controller. When I set up the pump originally I was hoping that I could uh, tap off the uh, load on the solar controller but when I tried it it wouldn't work and then I realized of course that that uh, these pumps draw about 5 amps and the motor is probably a delta wound and my understanding is those motors can have anywhere between 4 to 6 full load current on startup so it uh, couldn't work off the 10 amp loader. I searched around the internet looking for, um, looking and looking, I came across this particular one that allows 20 amp load. So that's the reason I, I didn't particularly need an MPPT for our small installation. And I'm going to try to see whether the pump can come off of that because the existing arrangement now I have to come straight off the battery and I would be worried that a lot of cloudy days and a lot of rain and uh, the pump could just run the battery down dead so at least if I have it off the controller I can set a, a low voltage cut out for the battery and to save it. So enough rambling I suppose we best have a look of it. Here we are. A small manual I'll have a look at that later. Um, yeah I have the the GD D10 which is 20 uh, which is 10 amps they go up to a 60 amp, but what I was interested in is the discharging current is 20 amps. Screws to fix it, and this seems to be uh, this seems to be just one of these uh, patterns for marking where the screw holes have to go. Handy. So here we are. It's a very artistic type of uh, front to it, isn't it? It's a bit of these are the buttons here. Now escape is a strange word, but anyway. So we'll go through the I'll go through the program, but that's escape, I take it, that's up and down. And that one is set, okay. Um oh fine big uh, terminal logs, which is good to see. USB, twin USB, I will be covering that up in a way because in, it won't be using it and in the boat environment uh, 
the less exposed the better and I'd probably put some dielect- dielectric grease on all the connections as well Just marine environment isn't kind to anything this here so that flips up to do the uh, to do the tightening up I mean there's a little bit of effort gone into it isn't it um, and it has uh, the heat sink down here I take it that's where you can buy the model with the remote thermostat and probably instead of the USB you could probably have the RS remote if you wanted to I but as I say no information on these on uh, YouTube and there's no manufacturer's name right I've had a quick look through this uh, manual it's not bad um, it covers quite a lot um, you know the usual safety precautions product description goes through a bit of uh, I think that fan would relate to the probably the 60 watts or whatever but there's no fan with this one it goes a bit through MPPT this is interesting here yeah so I know you can see that there but even for the 10 amp there or 20 amp uh, battery wire three millimeter squared but even and the load five millimeter squared it's five for all the load but on the 60 amp you have 12 meters 12 millimeter square so like it's good battery uh, good log sizes yeah uh, english is good uh, english is good but it gets a bit hairy when um, we come to the controls um so i've had to read through it um, and I think the best thing to do now is to put a battery, connect it to a battery and um, it has fault codes, try it out, see how we get it. Now that's it, that, that one there now is, I don't understand, after system voltage setting power supply has to be switched off and then on again otherwise the system may work under an abnormal system voltage. voltage. Yeah, so I'll go to it later, but you know, when you do all your settings and then you'd enter to, to save it, it looks like you st you still have to disconnect the solar and the battery and then reconnect them. I suppose a bit like when you your laptop, when you get a software update, it tells you to shut down before, you know, and restart, I don't know. But I've never come across that before. But here are the uh, specifications. And here are battery default parameters. Now I will be using um, seal lead acid, but it seems to cover gel, seal lead acid, and um, flooded. And it talks about lithium iron, but I take it that's just the lithium iron and not the lithium iron phosphate. PO4, you would probably go and get a dedicated controller. But it has a user to find se section. Um, and I have a funny feeling to see lead acid when I select it, I won't be able to change any of the settings. Now, that's okay. I'd live with the uh, low voltage of 11, but elsewhere it talks about 10.6. I'll have to look at that. Just uh, wired it up now to the small battery here. That's reading 12.5 volts there for the battery. And uh, no, what's this? 12.5 volts, yeah. So from what I can see, just switching on now, it uh, it shows the main screen and then th about five seconds later, it switches over to uh, showing the uh, the amperages, yeah. It's saying the battery is 59% and the saying it's 13 degrees C. I take it that's the, the controller temperature. And what's that say there? Gel, I thought it was automatically go to sealed but it has uh, recognized 12 volts that's auto so I'll play around with it now and see what I can find out right I've been looking at this now and uh, I don't know what that does quite on switch now if I press the up arrow it shows me 
I could have accumulative kilowatt hours and uh, load kilowatt hours and then if I go up then it shows me that I'm set for 24 hours for the load uh, I'm on use user option let's go again now uh, 13.8 12.6 11.2 volts now when I went to set it up for um, uh, C lead acid it's it just uh, you don't get any options uh, it uh, it's 13.8 12.6 but the cutoff is 10.6 uh, and I wanted a bit higher so the only way I could do that was to use the user defined one um, and I did disconnect the, the battery just for this thing of setting it so all these two do here is up and down all right. the settings you press and hold down the settings the settings allow you to change the battery type and I don't think uh, it allows you to do much else except when you go into user you can change what well, I'm happy enough with that uh, but the next one yeah I don't know it has remembered 11.2 so my understanding is if you wait 10 seconds uh, this comes out of the setting mode so there's not much you can do really um, if you select seal lead acid or gel or whatever um, the settings are fixed if I had selected the seal lead acid I suppose that equalizing is absorption 14.6 boost up to 14.45 float would be at 13.8 and of course at night when the uh, soda would go uh, it'll probably drop down to battery voltage 12.6 12.7 and this is restoring reconnect 12.6 volt okay and low voltage disconnect now it says 11.1 .1 here but when it's uh, Elsewhere in the book it says 10.6 and when I went in it was 10. I don't know what that does. This allows you to go up to see, uh, as I say, the total kilowatts hours and basically your setting. I'm on 24 hours for the load. I take it that that's the float, the uh, cut in it. I take it that's the float, the cut in and uh, the low voltage setting. And I'm on user defined. What it says here about escape, switch load, manual switch load, setting interface, settings interface to exit the settings. Well, the main screen gives a nice bit of information there. It, uh, no doubt it's showing the, the moon there for night time and then I think the sun symbol comes up for daytime. And if there's any um, charging that you'll see a movement along that arrow. And if the load was on, you'd see a movement along that arrow. Yes, I, uh, I've just put a, a power bank there now to charge off the USB. And I had to press the escape to get it to start uh, working on the load. I take it that keeps there all the time. And we are charging. Now I'm going to disconnect the uh, power bank and see the next time when I connect in whether she will charge automatically because I have it set up for 24 hours okay I disconnected and reconnected and she's now uh, back to the load again I was worried that that wouldn't auto connect but I'll have to be careful of little fingers go at that whether it would uh, what happens if I press it now what happens if I press the escape now? Yeah, she goes off. Is it time delay? Yeah, so that's. I might have to do. I might have to cover that bloody thing up now, so that little fingers won't be fiddling around because it. I need to be sure that the the pump is going to work automatically all the time. I would have thought with the twenty four hour. With that 24 hours, it would just keep going. So, I know a little bit more about it now, but uh, I might be keen to take that button out now. 
so that uh, nobody's going to be messing around with that because you know what people are like can't stay away from buttons now i'm waiting for the new pump the real test will be whether the pump will work off of the low terminal next stage now is to rig up a, a, have a 30 watt solar panel um, and i'll just rig that up just to prove that the solar side of it works and that it can charge this battery that's the next test